Hey guys, so I just wanted to take a minute to show you my practice setup. And this is what I practice with for um, Sunday morning worship. So what I have here is basically a vocal processor, a microphone, and an acoustic guitar and some headphones. So let me turn this camera around here and show you. So I have the, the Zoom V3 and I have the microphone coming in and I just have just a standard old microphone here. I have a set of headphones and my acoustic guitar and of course my, my Great Dane. In the back, I've just simply have have it plugged in. Coming, I've got a uh, three point five millimeter to quarter inch. This needs to be stereo coming in. Mono at the guitar, stereo at the vocal processor. So I just got that plugged in. I got my headphones coming in here. I can adjust my volume of my headphones, and I can also adjust the volume of my uh, auxiliary in. I have phantom power if I need it. I don't need it. I'm running a dynamic mic. And this processor is run by batteries, so it's totally portable um, if you need it. Now, I'm just, I just practice with this, and I sometimes use the octave, unison, or a lot of times I just use the chorus. And as you can see, I've got the chorus really low, but that brings some highs to it. It's a really low wave chorus. Um... The compressor is set about 11, 10, 11 o'clock. The delay, I like a lot of delay and a lot of reverb. Um, I'm not that good of a singer, so um, the delay and the reverb kind of makes me feel a little bit better. So if you did want to use harmony or anything like that, you, you kind of have to have this set up before you start playing because it's hard to do this on the fly, especially if you're playing guitar. Because uh, you uh, literally have to push the button to make it go. Or you can just take all the effects off. And, all, and the effects off does not affect this side. The effects off just affects these buttons here. So, um, so yeah, let's, let's go back to octave. I like the octave because the octave in the middle is your natural voice. But if you go a little bit to the right, it takes it up. It doesn't change the, the, the note, it just changes the pitch. Um, so if you want like a female back, then you know you could go this way. If you're a female singer and you wanted a male back, you could go this way. But this is what I use for practice um, for Sunday mornings. And at church, I'm going to do a video on this later, but at church I have the uh, TC Helicon, and it's already pre-programmed with my songs and stuff in it. And basically, I just use the same thing. Um, if you notice on this one, you know, you have pitch correct and uh, for the key and chromatic, but I'm going to tell you, I, I mean, even I'm not that great of a singer, and it makes me sound worse because it's so jumpy. It doesn't, it doesn't flow well. I think they put this on here with this T-Pain, uh, stuff that's going around. I think they just want it to um, cater to those uh, customers. But if you're leading worship or leading an acoustic set somewhere and you just want to set it and forget it, you know, the V3 is, is, is a good option. Um, however, if you're going to use the harmonies and stuff, I, you probably want to go to the V6 or just go ahead and get the uh, TC Helicon. Um, now, now this is a, a really good pedal. I, I don't want you to get me wrong, but the TC Helicon is just, it's 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 better. It's better. It's it's more flexible. Um, I think it's a little bit better sounding. Now, what I do like about the Zoom is um, you have hands-on control of. So yeah, I'm sorry, <clears throat> my camera went out. So. Anyway, yeah, the TC Helicon has more hands-on features, but uh, but you can't go wrong with this. The um, 
like I said, the only you know this thing does have drawbacks, but it also have it has advantages as well. So um, so yeah, I would highly recommend anyone doing an acoustic set, worship set, solo person who just wants to set it and forget it. I think uh, for a hundred dollars, I, I think you can't go wrong with this. So um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and um, I will be reviewing my TC Helicon. Uh, in a later video and showing how I have that set up and how I'm using the in-ear monitor feature for that. So stay tuned.